Just imagine you're weightless. Hi, it's Tony here. Welcome to the channel. Now, if you're a regular viewer of the channel or you've been looking at top boxes, you will probably have seen that a while back I reviewed the Jivy DLM30 Trekker. Now, the reason I chose this one is I didn't want a full-size case. I wanted something with a lower profile. This has proved to have been a very useful top box. I use it predominantly for carrying my camera gear around in when I'm filming or taking photographs. Um, but you can get a lot of stuff in there. I've used it for shopping. I've used it for the odd trips. You can stack a lot in. Because of the fastening on the top, you can strap netting and bags to the top as well. So it's a really flexible piece, and I've really enjoyed using it. The one thing that you can't do with this though is fit a helmet into it which is obviously something you can do with a full size top box. So in looking for a solution on the odd occasions that I want to do that, and that solution is the imaginatively named Jivy W901 weightless top box. This is a semi-rigid case is made from a tough diamond textured ABS plastic. As standard, this has a 29 litre capacity, but if you unzip the middle section, you can raise it up so that capacity increases to 34 litres. It's got a 600D polyester section in between the two, so when you've got it extended, it is pretty tough. But the one thing this is, it is very light. Now, I've only got my scales at home to use, I, I can't vouch for their accuracy, but I've been able to measure this and the DLM30 on there. This weighed in at 2.3 kilos, and the DLM30 weighed in at 4.8 kilos. The W901 weightless uses the monarchy system, so this will fit on any of the Jivy monarchy bases, or indeed any of the other racks that have got the adapters fitted on there. As with all the other monarchies, it has that key lock, so once it's snapped into place, you can lock it onto the bike. Once it's secured to the bike, the other security measure built into this is a three number combination lock which holds the clips for the zips. Now I think this part here is the weakness of this bag for a lot of users. I think this is gonna work in deterring opportunist thieves, but if you're determined to get into there, then a, a tin snip on either of those zips will break those and then you can open that and get through. And probably actually if you shoved a big screwdriver through there, and wrenched it, you'd be able to break those open. So security from that respect isn't fantastic. You might want to look at some other kind of strap to go over the top of it, but I don't think this is meant necessarily for any serious touring. Now, obviously an aluminium top box like the DLM30 is gonna give you more security. Although having said that, if there's a determined enough thief that knows what they're doing, I think they could probably break into these fairly easily as well. It's a very useful shape, you can get lots of stuff in there and obviously with it expanded fully you can get a helmet in as well. I put my Shoei GT Air 2 helmet in there, that fitted no problem. So it's a nice lightweight box to go on the back of the bike and this ABS case gives it an element of protection as well. It's not going to be as good as a full-on aluminium top box but it's pretty tough, it's going to put up I think with the rigours of everyday use. The one thing I haven't been able to try with this is riding in the rain. Obviously the ABS outer of this case is going to be 100% waterproof. The downfall of this may be the zips, because obviously you've got a zip section in there. They're not a waterproof zip. They have got a resistant sort of coating on them, but they're a standard cloth zip. So at some point in torrential uh, downpours or even submerged in water, you're gonna get some water ingress. So what Jivy have done is supplied a waterproof bag that goes inside. So I think it's a nice looking case on the bike. It is very light, so if you're riding a smaller capacity machine or maybe a scooter and you don't want the big heavy weight of an aluminium case on the back, this is gonna be a really good solution. You know, if you're commuting into work and you've got somewhere relatively secure to park your bike and you wanna put your helmet and gloves and bits and pieces in there when you get there, I think this is gonna be absolutely perfect. In terms of price, well, it retails at somewhere around 130 to 140 pound mark, depending on retailer. I'll have a search and see the best deal that I can find, and I'll put that link in the description down below. So if you are interested in one, you can click on that and go away and make your purchase. Other than that, there's not very much else to say. It looks good, it works quite well. Um, it's very light, it's quite spacious. The only downsides are it's not the most secure 
in the world and in very heavy rain. I've yet to test it, but it may well let water in, but Jivy have thought of that and I've given you a dry bag to go inside as well. So I hope you found it useful. If you've got any comments or questions, you know where to leave those in the comment section down below. And all that leaves me to say is until next time, thanks for watching. Take care, ride safe, and I'll see you soon. Bye.